everybody, it's Joel Hoster from White Snake. I'm here to teach you our new song, Hey You, You Make Me Rock, You Make Me Roll, from the new album, Flesh and Blood. Okay, so let's break it down. David Coverdale's a huge Jimi Hendrix fan, so I gave him a little foxy lady at the top with the F-sharp five power chord, just kind of rolling in the end. And make sure you don't get your volume too high so you can fight with it. Oh, one note, our guitars are tuned down a whole step on this song in the studio. We just keep them that way live, so live it'll be in the same key as it is on the record. Anyway, so okay, so there's the swell in, and Tommy Aldridge gives us the zhaka and we're into the chorus riff. Okay, so it's E to F sharp, obviously. And off. Reb and I are real into being tight together with that, so we talk about rest. So like off. And then so D5, A, A up to B, okay? Off. Now the main riff comes in on one guitar part. Okay, that is nothing more than F sharp with a pull off from A. I know that concert that's technically E to G, yada yada, I'm talking about fingering just in terms of if we weren't standard, okay, with notes. Now, so it's really an F-sharp blues scale kind of riff. So. Reb really likes that open and legato. We did talk about that, too. So I, I palmed it a second ago. Don't do that if you want to make Reb happy. <laughs> F sharp 5, E5, A5, E5, E5. Okay, here's that riff. It's kind of a dead hit before each of those. And on the A, it's almost like an open A, honestly. Like... Strumming wise. Okay. Okay. So one part that came in over the top of that, that's an overdub. Uh, I, I played it barred in the playthrough, but actually I capoed in the studio. I wanted to show you how I did it um, in the studio. I'm just going to play capo on two. And I'm fretting really on what now is the new second fret here. You got that? The pull off is from the fifth to the second, or three to zero, depending on how you're looking at it there. be the only confusing part for people so I'm gonna play got that I'm playing the second fret on the D to the B open 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 and then I switch to the G and reverse the process okay. I'll try and play it slowly for you guys Okay, so when I did the playthrough for you guys, you might have noticed I just played that like this. So 
So you're welcome to play it that way as well. I'm sure you can all kind of figure out from there. So verse, we're back to that main riff. Just jamming out on that, okay? We get to the pre-chorus and we're gonna go reb head like a D chord. So I just came up with a, it's a D major triad and then he's going to E and I went, so. And now we're gonna do a little riff off like muting a low F sharp, right? So our accent notes there are four, two, and one on the D. And then our run is chromatic here on the A. So. There's your pre-chorus riff, okay? And now we're back into that chorus riff I showed you at the top, okay? So I think you know everything. All that kind of repeats. I'm gonna go another time around. The next thing we're gonna hit is the bridge riff, okay? So what we're thinking of here is kind of like an E over D, kind of heading down to a D over C, but I, decided to kind of riff out with it a little bit. So instead of trying to play the low D, think of this as all over D, it's going to look like this. It's like uh, an A major seven type of chord, right? One off from an A power chord. So, see me getting the 10th right there. Now it just goes down two frets. Now the big change here, we're going to go to C sharp. And actually the second half of that, I'm going to start my lead, but... Just one time, and then I do a little trill that begins the lead. So here's the bridge. Cool. All right, you got it, guys? All right, it's time for the solo. Put my delay back on. Makes me sound like I'm better than I am. All right, so I clicked the wand, and I think on the playthrough, might have played it on the treble pickup. Might be, I can't really remember. I think it might have been a little warmer on the record, maybe middle. You guys can listen and gauge it out uh, with your sweeps. But I trill, basically, on the C sharp to D. So six to seven on the, on the G. <laughs> Do a little wah sweep on that, okay? Now, I'm sure most of you know this pentatonic lure. This song is, we're jamming in F sharp, right? Most of you know this lick. Right, right out of pentatonic. What I'm going to do here is do the same thing, but change the top notes so it gets a little more interesting and a little more unique, and I'm not just so, I guess, just stock. I'm gonna go from 21 to 14. And I'm gonna double up and get a unison there on 19. So it's... Now I'm gonna do four of those, and then I'm just gonna drop the top note one fret and do it twice, drop it again a fret and do it twice. So. It... You can see when I got to here, I just decided to, instead of using the pinky, right? Okay, now we're gonna get down into jamming more in just the standard blues scale. I'm gonna go. You got that? So we have. Got it? 
Now we're gonna go. So. Now, again, a lot of times when people would usually play this, I really get off on playing the major third. So we have. Now. Very stock pentatonic lick, you guys should know that one. Now I'm gonna do the bending and then overbend thing. So it's full. And then two steps, so we have this far. Okay, so all the way from the top to there. Okay, now, this is a lick that was also in the Trouble Is Your Middle Name solo. I love this one. Instead of playing, I'm gonna raise these two up to the and get that high F sharp. And then the third one, I'm just gonna go up only. Okay, so. Now, instead of, I'm gonna move this to here. This is gonna sound really ugly when you hear it on, on its own. See what I'm doing there? So I'm going two, five, six, and then getting two on the high E. Again, that's my Randy Rhodes influence, just being like, hey man, I can move that up a half step and just climb that up, even though it's a little dissonant sounding, it sounds kind of awesome in context. Okay, now on to the next riff that we're gonna take chromatic. We're gonna go right down the blues scale. Okay, so we have. So right here, we're gonna do another bending thing. So another overbend, right? It's the full bend. Okay, so here we are all the way from the top on that. Okay, everybody got that solo? And that's really it in terms of the rhythm and the main solo. At the end, you notice that it, it there goes into a, like a, a jam over the main riff, the uh, And I do some slide work over it, which I used, may have seen me kind of transition to the slide as I played it in the playthrough, because I didn't obviously don't want to stop just to put a slide on. That's what I do live. I have it on my mic stand on a little slide stand. I do so I do the first one manual. I go. As I'm doing that bend, I put the slide on. So I would, this is gonna be a little more awkward here in the, in the Guitar World studio, but if I go. You make me rock, you make me. So I kinda of do 14 down the third. 14 to 13 on the G. And 13 to 14 on the B. Those that haven't done slide before, the gist is you touch very lightly on the string. I don't know, you know, I, it took me a while when I first got a slide. I was pressing it down on the neck going, how does this thing work? It doesn't sound that good.
And the gist is to get directly over the fret to get your pitch. And then I go from 19. You make me rock, you make me. I go from 14 to 13, and 14 on the G. Honestly, it's just kind of a free-for-all at that point in time. I mean, there's times where we jammed on it long in rehearsals, and I'd kind of end up in the Richie Blackmore gypsy skin. to just kind of lay back and play whatever you're feeling there at the end more than it is exactly what's on the record. Anyway, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to play Hey You, You Make Me Rock, You Make Me Roll for me today. Uh, please come out and check out White Snake on the Flesh and Blood Tour. Hope to see you guys all out. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much to everybody here at Guitar World. You guys are so great to have me in. I'm always blessed to be here. I feel blessed to play guitar even. Anyway, uh, rock on, you guys, and I will catch you next time.